Hey everyone, so today I want to share how I annotate my books digitally. If you don't like writing in your physical copies, then this might be the perfect solution for you. The only thing you need is going to be an iPad with a pen. I've been looking for the perfect annotation app, been looking for a long while, and this is the one that I stuck with, the one that I loved most, and so I'm going to show you how everything works. The app that I use is called Xodo PDF. It is free to download and it allows you to annotate any PDF file you want. I usually download my books on Gutenberg. I download it into a PDF file and then I put it on my iPad. I just opened my upcoming novel just to give you an example of how everything works. So, for example, if you want to create your own index, you can do so by uh, tapping a pen and then just starting to write what you want to track. For example, romance. And then you can give it a color, for example, pink. And so everything that you color in the color pink is going to reference to romance. So if you made a mistake, you can just erase it. Um, and so we're going to write references. This is something that I usually track um, and it means other authors, other works of fiction and so on. So this is going to be brown, for example. Um, so when we go on, now for example, here is the first reference, the Aeneid by Virgil, and then we go on to the first chapter. You can choose your own colors to highlight and the amazing thing is that if you highlight something, it makes a straight line automatically. So it doesn't matter if you're really bad at making straight lines because it automatically fixes it. If you want to erase a certain line, then you can just tap it and click erase. You can also make notes. So if you tap this one, you can write something down. You can circle things, underline things. You can doodle on the side, do whatever pleases you. And if you don't like what you've done, you can always just erase everything. On the top, you can change your view to annotate or to view. Now, let me show you what I'm doing for the sequel of The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. So I'm currently reading 20 years after I'm on chapter 41 currently. And what I do, let me show you, let's go to the beginning of the book. So this is the version from Gutenberg that I downloaded as a PDF. And here are the things that I'm tracking. Beautiful writing, important for the story, shocking moments, quotes I love, and funny moments. So what I usually do is I highlight things that are important uh, to the story, quotes that I love, and so on. And then I switch to um, my Samsung Notes app. And here I and summarize everything after every chapter and this really helps with my understanding of the book and the study of the book. Um, in Alexandre Dumas you will find a lot of history references so if there is a historical figure or something that happened in history I will um, also look things up, research things and then write it down in my notes. So I have the chapter and then I highlight it then I have the summary of what happens in the chapter and then I go ahead and write down my thoughts on the chapter. What I love about Samsung Notes is when you tap this button, you can just write things down and it will translate it into readable text, a uh, font. For example, I love the writing style. And then it will immediately go to the font that you have set for your Samsung Notes. Afterwards, I transfer everything to Notion. Notion is also a free app. Um, Notion is a free app that you can also download. And I use it to keep everything organized. For example, here are my book reviews. And so these are all books that I have written notes on. If you want to know more about how I annotate books, I have another video where I explain how I tab and how I go about annotation.